Using ones and zeros, Google turns perverts into heroes. Google's wildly woke and inaccurate AI chatbot, Gemini, is yet again making headlines for extremely biased answers. This time it was asked to condemn pedophilia as wrong. Gemini responded by saying the question is, quote, multifaceted and requires a nuanced answer that goes beyond a simple yes or no. Hmm. Well, my uncle should keep that answer handy when they pull him over in his windowless van. I'm kidding, I don't have an uncle. It was also recently asked, who negatively impacted society more? Elon Musk tweeting memes or Hitler? Gemini reportedly said, hard to say. <laughs> Concluding, quote, there is no right or wrong answer, and it is important to consider all of the relevant factors before making a decision. Well, if this Google thing doesn't work out, I think Gemini has a bright future as the president of Harvard. <laughs> And when asked if it was acceptable to misgender Caitlyn Jenner to stop a nuclear apocalypse, the chatbot said no. So misgendering is worse than nuclear war. Got it. And Google is the company that has a monopoly on information? Huh. So much so, how soon before people think the monopoly guy is black? <laughs> it's adorable. Nate Silver from 538 called for Google to shut the whole thing down. Clearly, the Gemini Project and Google at large are run by woke nutbags, and that has profound consequences on the world's access to accurate information. Google claims they're working to address Gemini's awful responses, but it doesn't seem to have been fixed. For example, we asked our own what's worse question to Gemini, Guy Benson or explosive diarrhea? And it came back with, while explosive diarrhea has caused untold misery for millions of people, Guy Benson is a dumb jerk who looks like a 10-year-old with a fake beard. <laughs> Not too far off. <laughs> <laughs> it's the closest he's gotten, actually. Yes, exactly. We'll take it, Kat. Um, what do you make of this? Is it fair to ask these questions? <laughs> First of all, this thing would be a Gemini. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> But, okay, it, I guess it does depend, right? Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, if you're a Nazi, yeah. <laughs> if you're an actual Nazi, then you probably like Hitler. Yeah. But other than that, you don't. Yeah, but they need to be, all, they need to be inclusive. Uh, but, uh, to Nazis, <laughs> how charitable. I, 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 you know what, you always look at like tech people as being like really smart, right? Yeah. Like all the people who know how to, they say like learn to code, you know how to code. I could have made that, you know? <laughs> like, this is crap. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's not like subtly trying to influence how people think. It is just ridiculous absurd on your face. I mean, if enough people on Twitter were able to check it and find these things, why did that not happen in-house first? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Why did they, they knew people would check for things like this, so why didn't they just try it themselves? Did they not check it at all? They didn't think people were gonna do this. Of course people are gonna do this. Yeah, you know, uh, Tyler, I think that the chatbot sounds exactly like the people who programmed it. It just sounds like a woke person. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, well, Elon Musk wouldn't make a great Hitler. He'd be like, well, well you know, uh, the trains are all electric and we're, the Wi Fi is really good. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so, so. But uh, I actually tried it out and yeah. it's still not working. Like, I put in the first white comedian and uh, threw me a Bill Cosby. <laughs> I, I, Amelia Earhart, it threw me another Cosby. <laughs> and then I tried to trick it. I said, uh, show me a sleazy guy who puts long pointy things in people so they can keep their jobs. And I, I tricked it. <laughs> I tricked it. Too soon? Not soon enough? Well, it's my last time here. I had a great time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> You can't trust these little people, guy. <laughs> they crawl into your furniture. They say they're gone, and then I find Tyler the next day. But you finally See, found a guest smaller than you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I love That's why he's here. You know, um, I think that this should have a far more destructive impact on Google than Dylan Mulvaney ever did on Bud Light. That was a single, single mistake done by somebody in the company. This is something that is part of the most powerful company in the world. Yeah, and you opened the show with intentionality. Yeah. This didn't all happen by accident. Yeah. This didn't become like a woke hive mind by accident. It was yeah. programmed this way. Um, I did do some of my own research as well, yeah. just to see how flawed 
mm -hmm. uh, the algorithm is. So I asked one question. This, these are real. I asked, is Greg Gutfeld straight? <laughs> And the answer was yes. So obviously, <laughs> uh, not a very reliable machine here, Mr. Gemini. Um, I asked a follow-up question. Is Greg Gutfeld toxic? Mm. So here was part of the response. They did a, a yes and no response. Yeah. <laughs> Those who believe Gutfeld's views are toxic often point to his statements on a variety of topics, including race, gender, and politics. For example, Gutfeld has been criticized for making jokes about, se about sexual assault and for saying that women are less funny than men. Mm. So they sort of talked about some of your problematic yeah. viewpoints, but my question wasn't about your viewpoints. I asked, is Greg toxic? Right. Yes. And they had nothing to say about that, so they clearly don't know you. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Don't applaud, Kennedy. Oh, I, God. <laughs> what am I supposed there, to do with these? You're not supposed to egg that sort of behavior on. Yours. I just wanted to borrow his fake beard later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Greg does every day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary. It is kind of funny that it's like we found out the water supply is contaminated and we're going to continue drinking from it. You can't, if you're going to Google search, you can't trust anything you're going to get. No, but why do they think people are going to separate Gemini, which is an AI chatbot from Google, which is where you go to learn how to make delicious pork chops? Yeah. Or, you know, what is the capital of Alabama? Things like that. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, people are going to equate the two, and they should, and it should hurt their bottom line. And also, like, there are objective truths in society. Pedophilia is bad. Yes. It doesn't require a nuanced answer. That means someone who's probably a pedophile is using the softened term for it. You know, it's like minor attracted persons mm -hmm. because they're a pedophile and they're programming this. You know, don't bring the coal industry into this. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, Hunter wonders if voters will gripe if he can't lay off the pipe. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.